Hi folks, Simon here. Welcome back to the channel. I've had to drag myself away from Astro's Playroom on the PS5 to bring you another Final Fantasy VII video here with the new threat mod installed. Now, we're making good progress through the game, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get two pretty good items early on here in our playthrough from the same enemy. Now, those items are going to be the Striking Staff, which is a very powerful early weapon for Ares here. Has a good bunch of materia slots, as well as some nice stats as well. And the second item, also from the same enemy, are the Silver Glasses. Now, the good thing about these items are you can actually get more than one. So if you want to deck your whole party out, for example, with silver glasses, then you can do that. And I don't know for certainty how much, but I'm sure the striking staff will sell for a little bit of gill. So it might be an early money maker since we're only going to need one of these. Now, the silver glasses are good because not only do they have a good dexterity boost, and dexterity affects your ATB filling speed, uh, but unlike in the original game where they prevented blind, they also here prevent berserk. So, seeing as how a lot of different enemies, or a lot of enemies, now have different uh, status effects on their attacks and stuff in New Threat, items like Silver Glasses are going to come in very, very handy. So, in order to get this item, you need to make your way over to the train graveyard after War Markets, after the sewers. And you're only here for a limited time, so I do encourage you to, you know, take the time to get these items whilst you can. And make your way over to the second screen. Right, so first of all, let's just go through our party setup for the upcoming battle. Now, the first thing you're going to require, for sure, is the Morph Materia. Now, the Morph Materia is accessible much earlier on in the New Threat mod, and this is found uh, outside of Aerith's house when you're in her, in her garden. So if you miss this, I would actually encourage you to uh, go back to an earlier save point because Morph is just so useful here in this mod. And on another character, we're going to have... A steel materia. Now, it's possible by this point you can actually have two steel materia. And even though it's not required, if you do have both, I would recommend having each on a separate party member. That way, you can at least get through the stealing part of the uh, enemy a little bit faster. And also make sure you have the sense materia. This goes very well in hand with morph because you know how much more damage you need to do before actually using morph. In case you don't know, uh, to morph an enemy, you have to kill it by using the morph command, and morph doesn't do much damage, so you need to get it to low HP beforehand. And seeing as how the enemy we're going to be battling is going to be hitting us for a lot of damage, I would strongly encourage you to have cure magic. Now, I didn't do this, but cure linked with all is actually going to be very, very helpful, because as I say, we are going to be taking quite a brunt of damage in this battle. For the battle itself then, well, on the second train graveyard screen, I recommend just running around this area here. The enemy itself, which is the Eligor creature, is unfortunately kind of rare, so you might have to go through a number of battles before you encounter it. And that's why when you do encounter it, you do want to get things right, because if you screw up, as I did on stream, then you're going to have to find another one. Okay, so what we're going to start by doing is stealing with our stealing characters. We do want that striking staff. Now, I got it first try here, but it might take a few attempts before you're able to do that yourself. Don't worry about it, just stick at it and stay on top of healing, and you should be absolutely fine. You will get it eventually. Now, what we're going to do is actually not use Limit Breaks. We don't want to risk killing the Eligor before we are able to morph it. So, we want to make sure that we just start hitting it with normal attacks. Now, we are going to use Sense early on. And the good thing about Sense is, once you've cast it once at the start of the fight, then as you target the creature with your other attacks throughout the fight, it will automatically tell you um, how much HP is remaining on the enemy. So one cast of Sense, and then you can pretty much be kept up to date with how much more damage you need to do. In my case, Morph does 18 points of damage, I think it is, or 27 points with a critical strike. So yeah, you do need to get the uh, HP of the enemy down pretty low without killing it, which can be a bit of a pain. Uh, but just be careful with your attacks that may cause crits. Because on my first attempt at trying to do this on stream, uh, we used an attack by Cloud that crit the enemy and killed it before we could morph it. So yeah, just be aware of that. Uh, but other than that, you know, this battle shouldn't be too tricky. The one thing to note that's a little bit annoying is it does tend to cast some status ailments. In the new threat mod, as you can see here, Aerith has been put to sleep with that area of effect sleep. And this mono laser ability is a very nasty ability that is cast three times per turn for quite a nasty amount of damage there. 
So yeah, like I say, this is where Cure All is pretty much going to come into its own. Finally, one little helpful tip that might guide you on your way is that magical attacks do not crit, okay? So crits are only tied to weapon-based attacks. So as you start to get the Eligor, you know, down to about 300 HP, you might want to stop using physical-based attacks, which could end up killing the enemy inadvertently, and instead just stick to abilities such as Ice or Bolt, since you know how much damage they're going to do, and that's pretty consistent each time you use those spells. And then once you get the creature down to about 50 HP, it's time to start, you know, limiting your attacks to morphs only. And eventually, you'll get these silver glasses. But of course, do make sure you've stole, stolen the striking staff before actually morphing the enemy. Otherwise, you won't get that. Oh, and for the sake of giving all the information, the Eligor actually has a number of items on his drop table. The Mute Mask Dream Powder and the Powerful X Potion. But they are all consumables, so not as, you know, valuable in my opinion as the weapon and the accessory you can get. And you can only get those if you do not steal an item, since you can't steal and get a drop from an enemy at the same battle. But anyway, guys, there we have it. I hope the video's helped you. Don't forget to drop a like if it has. Check me out on Twitch, and I'll see you next time.